Hi Scorpio and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from April 1st to April 8th, 2020. I'm very happy that all of you are here. I hope that you're all safe and sound. Um, I want to take a time to thank everybody that has been with me on my platform uh, here on YouTube from the beginning. Those of you that came halfway, those of you that are recently here or new to my channel, welcome. I am a psychic medium and I'm active in my community now for 25 years and I channel messages from my higher self and the divine and I use the cards on YouTube to deliver you the messages. And I really want to take a time for all of us here on YouTube, uh, all the creators that are here and on behalf of them as well, if they don't mention it to you, is that... Uh, we have to thank each and one of you that are here, that are subscribed and not subscribed, watching our channels, because if it wasn't for you, we would not be here sharing our gifts, uh, whatever it is that we do here on YouTube. And um, so, like I say, all, always again, it's like there's so many ways in, in, in how you can support us on YouTube. Uh, you know, there's by watching our videos fully that will help us to stay on this platform longer, uh, especially those of uh, those of us that are doing this full, full time. And by subscribing, by liking, by commenting, of course, you know, those are all the things that you could do. And uh, also check at, at times your settings on your phone to see if you are subscribed. Because many times you, uh, YouTube, when they do upgrades, they will unsubscribe you to the people that you love. And from the behalf of all the creators here and myself, uh, thank you all very much. And, you know, I'm very humbled and grateful for this experience here on YouTube and for how far I came, and it's all because of you, and uh, I'm so grateful for all of you. And I also want to take two minutes of my time here, because I should have started saying this at the beginning of my videos in April, but I started with Libra, and now I'm going to do it with you, okay, as well, is that um, we're, what is taking place here on the collective right now, all of us here are on the collective are all as one, okay? We are all going through this together, and this shall pass. A lot of people are asking me, why aren't you not doing a video? And why aren't you not doing a video? Because I'm not being called to do a video. Spirit does not want me to talk about it in a sense like uh, put a video out there to talk about this um, virus situation. Uh, what he wants to know, tell everybody here is that, uh, and for those of you that do, will understand this, and maybe some of you won't, but for those of you that do understand this, is that the more we talk about a situation, the more we create it, and the more you create it, the more you bring it upon yourself. And so I tell my family and friends and everybody that I encounter, do not watch the news, okay? Because the news will put you in a fear, in a state of fear. And the more, the more that you watch the news, the more you have that state of fear, the more that you are going to create this particular situation that's taking place here on the collective okay and so uh spirit uh, is telling me very strongly that all the light workers including myself and you out there all of us are doing healings for the collecting we're doing prayers for the collective april 4th is a big date for everybody on the collective at 333 wherever you are in this world to pray for 20 minutes towards the collective okay it's a prayer or you could do a meditation to clear you could do whatever it is at April 4th at 3.33 p.m., okay? Um, this could be any time where you are in this world. And so uh, that's why I'm not being called to do a video, okay? And I have to make that clear because uh, I do care about what's happening in this uh, in this, uh, in this uh, collective at this time. And um, we're all doing our best to be positive and just know that this shall pass. And uh, we are here to help to understand, make others understand to not take part of what's taking place on the news because there's a lot of good things that are taking place, okay? A lot of people are recovering very quickly and a lot of people are not dying from it. So the news will only give you what, uh, you know, they want to give you. And uh, so just remember that, okay? And another thing for those of you that want um, an oil, okay? Because I am an advocate for dotora.ca because I'm in Canada. For those of you that want to join me, on my platform on doTERRA all you need to do is email me the email will be underneath the video but you can use on guard on guard oops uh is uh is a protecting mist okay so you know if you don't have purell and uh, you don't know what to make purell you can have this in a, put in a capsule you put five um five drops of or, or organo oil and doTERRA oil and you could use that as a capsule three times a week, yeah, three times a day, one in the morning, one at night. And this will stop the, any type of flu. Uh, me, I put them on my hands, really, because I love the smell. Okay, I put on my hands everywhere I go. I, I always use this as my, uh, to clean. This is good also for disinfected people. Also use it to, oops, gargle 
uh, gargle, you know, if they want to gargle, like if there's you have a sore throat, then just spit it out. Um, the taste is a bit like, you know, strong. I know someone that used on guard to heal their teeth. Okay, they had like a wisdom tooth pull out. So this works very well. So for those of you that want to join me on doTERRA.ca, you can. Uh, if not, uh, go to doTERRA.com and get your on guard. You, got, you have it in spray. Uh, you have it in oil, like in, in oil where you could have drops. I have both. And you know what? I'm very happy with it. So um, I hope that you will get one too. So this is very good for nurses. You know, so if you know nurses, doctors that are out there, those people that are helping on the collective that are in hospitals and stuff, tell them to get on guard. Okay, on guard does work. It's very good. Okay, so now uh, I, I'm already at five, five, five minutes here. And um, I still have to say that for those of you that want crystals, um, if you follow the link underneath my video, under my name, you'll get 10% discount. I'm also on Patreon for some of you that want to know that, okay? And the reason why I put Patreon is to do different things besides card reading, like uh, deeper uh, crystal meanings, how to use them on grids, and how to enhance and how to bring your manifestations towards you. For those of you that are interested, you could go on uh, Patreon. Uh, there's going to be a link under the, underneath the video. But I'm still going to be here every week giving you a reading with the crystals and the frequency cards. Uh, not the frequency cards, but the crystals and the animal totem and divine guidance that I'm going to show you. Okay. And uh, the weekly schedule is there as well. And that's it. Okay. And now you have my email address. Okay. For those of you that want are interested in joining me at doTERRA.ca. Now, okay, how the reading will start. Well, I will start with the singing bowl. Then I will go with the smudge spray. Then you're going to get two oracle cards before the reading. Then I'm going to give you the reading and, and uh, you know, uh, where you are right now, what you need to focus on, what are your strengths, what is coming towards you, and what you need to know in your potential future with clarification. And then I'm going to end it with your animal spirit guide, your crystal that you need to use for the week, and your divine guidance. Okay, so let's get started. Thank you for listening and know that I love you all very much. So let's start. This is a singing bowl. The reason why I use this is to clear my energy in my space. And I'm going to do the same thing for you. Now, what I do want to tell you also is that tonight and every other night when I do the singing bowl, I want everybody to put their hand on their heart chakra and send love to the collective. Send healing to the collective. Send a positive thought to the collective. And just close your eyes and let's do this together. Perfect. Now we'll use the smudge spray. For those of you that want to buy smudge, is smudge, <laughs> smudge spray, you could uh, buy it on itsy.com or on Instagram. Okay. They have a lot of them on Instagram. And so, of course, I'm going to use some on Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. You don't see him. Archangel Uriel, my angels and my crystals. Hold on. Let me put some on my crystals and some for you and some for me. Of course, the reading will start almost at, at 9 15, but it is what it is. Now, let's start with your oracle cards. So it's 919 here. So they're saying, angels are saying, if you get nervous, focus on your service. So if you get nervous, focus on your service. It says, put your, um, put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the, I don't know what this word is. And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. So put your entire intention on answering this question. How can I make the world a better place? 
And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. Very beautiful. Next card is Lessons of Mars. Lessons of Mars. Purely physical sexual attraction. Fire and passions run fast and burn fast without other elements. Very beautiful. Now let's look at your cards. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope that you're all doing well out there. I hope that you're all safe and sound. Okay? So, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But if you have any place placement in Scorpio, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be your reading. If this reading does not resonate with you, then that's when you look at your Rising, your Moon, and your Venus. And then you'll probably get like some type of answer in every reading that you will get okay so this reading is for my beautiful scorpions okay one two three here we go let's start the reading The cards are just like coming out, no problem here. I like to see that. So, and the last card overall energy, Scorpions, is the Hermit reversed. You're coming out of a cocooning stage or cocooning stage, <laughs> cocooning stage. Or coming out of where you were cocooned, you were following your own path, um, you were taking time out in meditation, and now you're coming out of that, okay, this is what I'm picking up. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo energy, or you have Virgo in your chart. Where you are right now, well, the Scorpio, you are reevaluating everything right now, okay, you're uh, maybe reevaluating your money, your stocks. Whatever it is, you're really evaluating what you what's what you need, what you have, or you're just reevaluating everything in your life at this moment. What is the challenge and what is crossing you is the two of cups energy, two people coming in together. It could be another Scorpio like you, Cancer Pisces, it doesn't have to be. This is a telepathic or a very strong uh, relationship that's here for you. Okay, there is some type of relationship. And let's say you're single and there's no relationship in this week. Well, this could come true in next month for you or the next month after. Because sometimes I could predict up to three months or two months. Okay, uh, but for some of you, there is a relationship here for you. There is there is a relationship for you. And some of you are reevaluating this. What they want you to focus on is this Queen of Cups energy. And I believe this is you. You are unconditional love. You're caring. You're nurturing. You're also very much in control of your emotions. And also, uh, see you see things and feel things differently than other people. Or you're dealing with this type of ind individual. In the past till now, you've got the Ace of Swords energy. And that's beautiful. When you have the Ace of Swords, that means that the Divine came in and cleared everything from you. People, situations that were not for your highest good. And there was a lot of communication and great ideas that took place. And, there, and you, a lot of you have direct contact with your higher self and the divine. What your strength is, is the Ace of Cups energy. There is a relationship here. This is sacred love, true love that's here. This is what's giving you power. You're going to feel overwhelmed. You're going to be at peace, but it's going to make you feel overwhelmed. What's coming towards you is the Queen of Wands. Now, this could be you in energy of these two together. Okay. The water energy and fire energy this is a strong feminine energy, very outgoing, positive, um, also generous, okay? 
uh, but feisty as well. And when they go for it, they're very inspirational. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius Leo or Aries energy, or this is you and energy, okay, that you are coming out in this way. In the seventh position, you got the Empress. Beautiful. This is everything you touch will turn to gold. This talks about death and rebirth, death and rebirth, that at the end you do not recognize yourself. Okay, um, this could talk about many uh, ideas coming together and coming to fruition. Uh, a lot of abundance, someone that's very nurturing here. Um, this could also be, um, you know, um, new opportunities that are presenting themselves to you. For some of you, this could also be pregnancy as well. Okay, what you need to know is <clears throat> you have temperance here. Okay, some of you are moderating your life, body, mind, and spirit all together. You're taking care of yourselves. Uh, for half of you, you're like, um, you know, you're communicating with your divine guidance, like your spirit guides, um, you know, your angels. Um, but some of you are looking for divine intervention in a situation. And some of you are asking, they're asking you to be patient. But then I have another thing that they want me to tell you is that there is someone here that loves you very, very deeply. And they have a lot of gratitude and appreciation for you, Scorpio. Okay, and uh, maybe you're dealing with a... Um, with a Sagittarius, it doesn't have to be, but maybe you're dealing with, like you are dealing with an earth angel or you are this earth angel. In the ninth position, you got this page of swords energy. So there is some type of communication that is taking place. It's the beginning stages of it. Maybe you're dealing with someone younger. And the last card you got is the six of swords energy. So there is like, um, you are going through a transition from a troubled time to a good time, like, you know, calm waters. This talks about relocation or moving as well, okay? So it's very positive. Now, let's look at the reading together and see what this holds. We're going to start clarifying. I'm just going to take a sip of water, so cheers. Okay, let's look at the Seven of Pentacles here. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Scorpions? You've got the Two of Swords... The five of swords reversed and the nine of cups reversed. Okay. So a lot of you right now are feeling, which is normal. Okay. Stalemate. Crossroads. You don't know what to do. Okay. And uh, what I see here is with the five of swords reversed, which is a good card. There's no, there's not, there's this uh, type of energy of people backstabbing you, hurting you, cheating on you, whatever it was, bullying you. It's dissipating from you, okay? It's dissipating. And with the Nine of Cups, it talks about you wanting, you, you're you you're going for that Tenth Cup, okay? You're at the Nine Cup of wishes coming true, but you're going to go for that Tenth Cup, okay? So I do feel that this is a very positive. Now, I'm going to ask one more card for the Two of uh, Swords energy, okay? Let me see there. I'm not going to... I'm not going to put it on the uh, on 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 uh, the table, but I'm going to show you why the two of swords is there. For those of you that are in stalemate, maybe this has to do with finances, or you're scared that you're not going to have money. Okay, uh, uh, a lot of you have healed something from you. You healed a broken heart from the past. Okay, it's healed. You walked away from a situation in the past. You walked away for you want you had the eight. You wanted to go for the ninth. You got the ninth cup. Some of you are going for that tenth cup, okay? You walked away from a situation that wasn't serving you. And what's coming towards you is the king of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So be strong. Know that everything will pass and you will be this person if this is you, okay? This is a worldly success, being reliable. This talks about being successful, of course. Uh, material satisfaction, being grounded. This could be a job. And the ace of pentacles, there's a gift coming towards you. Some type of money that's coming towards you that will bring you that stability. The King of Pentacles could be someone else that's coming in to offer you a, a position. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But they have they're, they're, they have a very good sense of business. Okay, so this is what's coming for you. Actually, I'm going to leave it on the table. Okay, so that's coming for you. Now, let's look at the Two of Cups energy. Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? This is the challenge or the potential challenge. Okay, what is the Two of Cups energy here? Let's take a two cups. So you got the four of wands, the star card, beautiful, and justice. Nice. Some of you are married, or some of you are going to be getting proposed. There's some type of proposal that will be taking place here for you. 
with this Two of Cups energy, okay? What I see. This can be a lover, a friend. It can be anybody. It doesn't have to be a marriage. It could be, you know, siblings, uh, mother and kids coming together and being happy in a home. Uh, but for some of you, this is a relationship that's coming in with a proposal. There's some type, sort of proposal that's coming in for you. And with the Star card, you've been wishing upon many stars and they heard you because the healing and the blessing is taking place here for you. Maybe some of you are dealing with an Aquarius or this happened in the Aquarius season. Actually, Mars is right now in Aquarius. So this could be taking place. And um, maybe you're dealing with a Libra or this is like rulings would be made in your favor. Finally, rulings would be made in your favor. You're going to stand in your truth. Okay. Everybody that's around you will be treated just and fair. And things will be in balance. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra energy. Okay. Maybe sometime in, for some of you, this could also take place in October of uh, 2020. Okay. Now let's look at uh, the Queen of Cups. This is what they want you to focus on. So they want you to focus on this. Okay. They want you to focus on this Queen of Cups energy. What is the Queen of Cups all about here? Well, you got the Strength card. You got the Devil card. And you got the Page of Cups. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. The Strength card. If you haven't been feeling well, Scorpio, or if you had some type of injury, you will uh, successfully get rid of that. I'll go with the Strength card. Okay. It's like about trying conclusion that will take place. Being healthy. Uh, Self-confidence, self-belief, whatever. Confidence in yourself. Coming in strong, okay, having the strength to move forward. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo energy that's available for you. This could be Saturn in Capricorn. That's, or no, Saturn is in Aquarius. No, sorry, Jupiter. No, Saturn is in Capricorn still. Jupiter is in another sign, Aquarius. But I believe that this is, has to do with the Saturn energy, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Uh, but for finances, this is really strong. But for others of you, you're dealing with someone that you're bonded to you or you feel like you're bonded to for life. This could be, um, uh, for some of you, you're bonded to someone or some type of addiction. It could be, um, you know, um, fear. Maybe it's fear, okay? And also um, on some unhealthy uh, people or situations around you that you're dealing with. And with the Page of Cups, there's a new beginning that's taking place in emotions here. This could also be with your child. Some of you are having problems with a child that has an addiction here is what I'm picking up as well. But I'm going to take out one more card for the Devil card, okay? So why is the Devil card here? It has to do with love, finances. What does it have to do with? Whatever situation it has to do with, you will rise above this. With the seven of wands okay so you will be rising above the situation energies or whatever it is that you're going through now let's look at the ace of uh, swords energy in the past till now why is the ace of swords here why is this ace of swords here so we have the five of cups the elephant and the nine of swords reversed okay so this is good the nine of swords reversed, it means that a lot of you are sleeping your nights, you're not in fear, okay, and not having many thoughts on your mind with this ace of swords energy. The five of cups, though, talks about something that you are uh, still releasing uh, emotions, guilt, uh, maybe frustration. Um, you know, so you are releasing something and something about that you need to stay in gratitude. Um, for what you have because the two, there's two cups there that are there and you're not even looking at them everything happens for a reason and there's a reason why this took place for you and you need to get that aha moment to understand why uh there was some type of uh maybe this could be um someone that you were dealing with an organization maybe um maybe it could be a marriage for some of you this could also mean by you uh, thinking outside the box and getting your own information to move forward but with the Five of Cups reverse, it feels like with the Five of Cups upright with this uh, Hierophant card, it feels like uh, there's a lot of regret around the situation. Okay, whatever the situation is, there is regret here. You're still letting go, and it's fine. Maybe you cut, maybe something was cut off from you, but you're still feeling the pain or the hurt, and that's fine. You know, it takes time to heal, right? 
You need to go with it. You need to go with, with how you feel. Now let's look at the Ace of Cups. This is your strength. You've got the Page of Pentacles. This is very good. The Page of Pentacles. You've got the King of Wands. So you've got the King and Queen of Wands here. Okay. That's very good. This could be a, a couple. And why is the King of Wands here with the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups? Ten of Wands. It's an ending that's taking place where you're going to have to be carrying a lot on your shoulders. Okay, the Ten is like uh, becomes a, a one right away. So there's something that is eluding you where you're going to have to carry the world upon your shoulders. The King of Wands energy is a strong masculine energy here. Very, again, generous, outgoing, truthful, very feisty. They usually go what they want for. They're very inspirational. They're very passionate. Okay, they're very beautiful. And with this Ace of Cups energy, it's beautiful here. There's a lot of love. And the Page of Pentacles talks about something that is starting. Pages, again, are about all new beginnings. So there's some type of stability here that's taking place here for you. A job, finance, whatever, or in a, or in a relationship, because it's all here for you. Now let's look at the Queen of Wands energy that is coming towards you here. What is this Queen of Wands energy about for Scorpio? Well, let's see. You got the Lover's card. You got the Nine of Wands. And you got the Hangman. Some of you are dealing with a missed opportunity is what I'm hearing. Okay? A missed opportunity. So you got the Queen of Wands energy, right? And you got the Lover's card. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. Maybe you're dealing with a lover. Maybe you're dealing with a friend. Maybe you're dealing with a soulmate, a twin flame. There's some type of decision that has to be made here. Okay? And there is some type of blockage that's going on with the Nine of Wands. Or someone is blocking someone. I don't know if some of you are not in separation is when I'm being heard. And there's some type of sacrifice that's taking place here. Like you're in suspension, you're in this cocoon right now, which everybody is in a cocoon at this time. But there's some type of sacrifice here that someone is doing. Okay, now let's look at the Empress here. Everything she touches, she turns. Everything she touches turns to gold. Okay, I got the Queen of Swords and the Magician. So you are manifesting, my beautiful Scorpios. And one more card. One more card. The Emperor. So you got the Empress and the Emperor. The King and Queen of Wands. Okay. Let's look at the cards again. You got the Empress. Beautiful. You got the Emperor. Now this could be also be you. You could have been this empress, and now you are the emperor. That could be right. The emperor means that uh, no, the queen, the, the the empress is mostly laid back. The emperor is not. He's not laid back, but he is like, um, or he or she could be you, of course. Setting up new rules, set up new boundaries. Everything will be under control. This is a commitment. This is st a stability. Could be between two people as well. Yes. Because like with the Two of Cups, there is two people coming in together. That's 100% for some of you. And whatever that you're manifesting is coming towards you. And some of you with this Queen of Swords energy, uh, if you see anything and detect anything that is not for your highest good, or you know that someone's lying to you, you're going to cut them out. Okay, you're able to cut them, cut, cut them out and you're going to clear the energy and situations from you. Now, let's look at... Uh, the temperance card why is the temperance card here this is what you need to know what is this temperance card all about you've got the five of wands energy so there's a lot of tug and being maybe uh within yourself there's a tug of war going on within yourself okay a pull back and forth or do you're dealing with uh, a lot of people that are angry or uh people that are angry at this time the five of wands energy and temperance you got the two of wands reversed and the seven of swords. So there is some type of situation around you. This is what they want you to know. Okay, maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. But if you're not dealing with a Sagittarius, you're dealing with someone here, even though they love you deeply, I'd say, and they have gratitude, appreciation for you. Maybe you're dealing with someone that there's a lot of fighting, 
whatever, there's something that's going on between you and this person, or whatever it is, I don't see you two coming together, or share, I'm not, not coming together, I don't see you holding the same vision, there's something that someone is not holding the same vision, and they're trying to get away with it, okay, so there is some type of information that is withheld from you, okay, so they want you to be patient with the situation here, Web, whatever the situation is, but whatever it is, you are going to come above it. You are going to rise above it because I got the six of wands. So this talks about you being successful. So you are going to be successful. Okay. There is some type of, there is here. Okay. Or you're meeting someone that's successful or you're going to be successful. Let's look at the page of Swords Energy. Three cards. So I got the Eight of Pentacles. I got the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Swords reverse. Okay, so good. You're not feeling stuck in a situation. You're not in your mind about a situation. Okay, you just need to trust yourself. Okay, whatever this page of swords is for you. There is some type of communication here or someone watching over you, like watching you on social media, what you're posting. It could also be that. Be careful of this type of energy. It's also, I find there's a little bit of jealousy with this individual. You have been dreaming big and you have to continue dreaming big. Okay, this is beautiful. You have many dreams and aspirations that you want to come true. And with the magician, you could nicely do that. With the Eight of Pentacles, you're working on a project and you're working in detail. Okay, late hours at night as well. Now let's look at the Six of Swords energy here. Okay, the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Let's take out three cards. You've got the Four of Pentacles. You've got the Chariot. And you got the Three of Wands energy. Nice. Okay. You are going to be transitioning through a situation here where it's moving. Some of you are clinging on to money too strongly. Some of you are spending too much on certain things, if that's the case. It also talks about opening the heart chakra and also talks about where uh, there is some type of stableness around you, okay? Uh, because you have the Eight, you have the King of Pentacles as well. You have the Empress, the Emperor, which is the ace of swords the ace of cups very good cards you're going to be taking control of the situation and you're going to be moving forward this is an, an ending of a of something very difficult that you've been through and you're going to have the willpower and the ambition to move forward you know that the road around in front of you will be uh you know rocky at times but you have control of it some of you might be buying a vehicle in the month of june of 2020 and your ships are coming in okay so this is good you're looking into the future you see that things are the possibilities and that you could have or what you could have for yourself and whatever that you've been dreaming of is coming in and this could take up to three months from now okay and it's going to be long-term and long-term goals so this is very good and some of you might be dealing with a cancer here and let's look at the hermit reversed here what is this all about about this hermit reversed let's look at this hermit reversed You got the Eight of Wands reversed, the Five of Pentacles reversed, the High Priestess. Okay, so there's some type of communication that's not still taking place with the Eight of Cups reversed. And maybe you're dealing with someone that is not communicating at this time. Maybe they're not stable, or this is you coming out of your bubble, but you're not still communicating. Some of you are still feeling left out of the situation. You're feeling in the dark, okay? You feel that it's not going to be help. There is help coming towards you. Just be patient. Everything is going to work out. Believe me, okay? And uh, this is a universal truth, that uh, universal secret that's taking place here. And uh, that's why they want you to go within and meditate, okay, as well. It talks about meditation, being still, going within. You have a lot of wisdom. You, high, you are a high priest or high priestess. Don't give up on your dream if you are on YouTube and you are doing cards out there. And you see that you're not getting a lot of likes and shares or... People are not coming to you. Keep working on it, okay? Don't If you feel that that's your calling, it's not easy for everybody to get on YouTube. It's very hard to be on YouTube, okay? It's very hard. There's a lot of competition. But if you do it from your heart chakra and you know that you want to do it, it doesn't matter. Even if you like view like 20 people or people like, or let's say a thousand people view you, those thousand people will come back to view you every every week or every month, okay? And, I, and this is a strong message that I have to give to someone. Okay, don't look at how much you can get. Just look, if you're just helping one person, if you could just help one person, that's all that you need. And eventually it will grow. 
because I see here success for you, okay? You just have to get rid of situations, people, and, um, you know, and this talks about where, you know, you, you have a lot of wisdom and trust your intuition. Trust your intuition, okay? Because I see positive things happening for you, Scorpio, okay? Whoever that message was for, don't give up. And what you have underneath the, the deck is the Knight of Wands energy. Maybe there is a person here younger than you coming in, okay, uh, with a, wants to be adventurous, wants to, you know, is passionate, you know, passion person. They're restless, okay, but they love adventure. And maybe this is what you need right now. Sometimes you just need to not think about anything and just go with the flow, okay, and uh, have fun, okay. So this is your message. And uh, now we'll look into the oracle cards, okay? Let's look at your animal totem. I need to put my uh, reading glasses because if not, I do not see very well. And the card that you got for the week is Dragonfly, Master of Light, Illusion, and the Mind. The Dragonfly is an ancient and ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder and awe. The Dragonfly is a symbol of the mind at it, at it is always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Okay, are, okay. now this is a question for you. Are they restless or still? Dreamlike or crystal clear? The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. When in balance, it sees clearly joyful, magical. When it's out of balance, it can't concentrate, busy mind. And to bring into balance, focus on the breath. So maybe some of you I need to do, do deep healing breath. The dragonfly will be with you for that week. What crystal? What is your crystal for this week? Well, the first crystal for the crystal here is number 45, and it's Rhodochrosite. Rhodochrosite, the heart re reviver. Rhodochrosite teaches the heart to assimilate painful feelings without shutting down, dissolving denial and identifying ongoing detrimental patterns. It offers compassionate love and forgiveness. You face the truth with loving awareness. Self-understanding of this crystal. Deep down, you feel alienated, unloved, or unappreciated. Now, remember, this will not be for everybody, okay? A history of sexual or emotional abuse creates dis-ease, or you may have misused or feared your sexual power in the past. It may be repressing something you do not want to face. Irrational fears and paranoia and unacceptable emotions need to be acknowledged and transformed. What the divine wants you to know is time for a change. Time for a change of viewpoint. Begin to seek the gifts in your experience rather than seeing the negative effects. Check out whether what you were taught in childhood is still relevant to the person you are today. And the healing insights is releasing resentment from your heart creates well-being. So releasing resentment from your heart creates well-being. This is a high-frequency crystal. The chakra is the heart, the solar plexus, and the sacral. And um, soul path, it's uh, ra radiating, radiating unconditional love and selfless compassion. And now let's look at this other card that I want to show you. Now, all you need to do is look at it, okay, Scorpio? You look at it and you tell me what you feel when you see this card. And it's number 29 and it goes to number 11. And this is speak your truth. It is time to speak your truth. You no longer need to hold back what you have to say for the fear of what others may think. You're being asked to speak up and share your feelings, your wisdom and whatever it is on your mind. When you have something to say yet hold your words back through fear, you create a blockage in your energy and life. Speak up. What you have to say is important and worth being heard. If you are a public speaker or have a desire to speak publicly, this card encourages to use your voice and calm and claim your power. So, uh, sorry about that. This card encourages you to use your voice and claim your power. Okay? So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Scorpions. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back and that I love you. And I'll see you next week. And please stay home and stay safe. Bye.